Now, as someone who's somewhat shorter than six foot, I've always believed that uh, good things come in small packages. <laughs> and these three rods that we've got here are clearly compact by name and compact by nature. Yeah, they are actually. The compact range includes four rods. There's a 10 foot feeder as well. And I suppose the logical place to start is with this one here, which is the rod that I'm fishing with today. Now, this is the compact eight foot feeder rod, and um, it's a very powerful short feeder rod. It's brilliant for fisheries where you're after big tench, big carp, and anything that's likely to pull back. It comes with a, a choice of several quiver tips. You've got a sensitive tip, a three ounce, a four ounce, and a five ounce tip. Yeah. It's a beautiful rod, actually. You can tame really big fish on this rod. And the great thing is, because it's short, it's so nice to fish with when you're in restricted bank space and you're fishing parallel to the bank on a still water. Most swims on modern still water fisheries are quite restricted. Mm. This rod's fantastic for that. It's one to try incidentally, if you like your river fishing for big barbel and big chub, mm. and you're fishing fairly close range on the river and you want to sit there touch ledgering, this rod is simply awesome. So out of the whole compact range, I absolutely adore this rod. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Incidentally, I think a really good reel to use for this kind of work. I don't like to use big reels for the sake of it, and um, I've chosen this Force 8 match feeder reel, which it's an eight ball bearing reel. It comes with two spools, an aluminium spool, which is this one, and a graphite spool. It's got a very nice drag, mm -hmm. and it's nice and compact. Yeah. Holds plenty of line though, yeah. and I think that's absolutely ideal. Perfect partner for this compact feeder rod, I think. And the same principles of shortness and strength have been used with these two, the, the compact float rod and the compact carp rod? Yeah, you've got a similar principle here. It's a lovely rod again, this. This is the uh, compact float. It's a 10 foot float rod. Again, I've used a, a similar reel with it, which is the Force 8 match feeder, but it's a pokey rod. You mm. can tame big fish with this rod. It's perfectly at home with tench, and carp at close range. The sort of thing you do if you're fishing next to these pads. Yeah. It's not a rod to use for long range waggler fishing. Yeah. You need a longer rod for that. But for short range, under the rod stuff where you've got to hit and hold them a bit, yeah. this is a fantastic piece of kit. And it's quite unusual these days to find a, a 10 foot float rod. So I think it's a really good addition to the compact range. Mm -hmm. And this one, the carp rod? Well, well, I think this is a really interesting rod. I mean, why do we use 12 foot carp rods on small to medium sized carp waters? I've never really understood it. Mm. If you fish with a rod like this, it'll cast as far as you want it to, except on the really big wide open gravel pits, say like the one that we've been fishing at Bluebell. Mm. But on small to medium sized water, a 10 foot carp rod, two and a half pound test curve, it's a beautiful rod to, to use yep. because it's light. Yep. It's a fantastic rod to play fish on. Yeah. And the action of this rod has been carefully designed to be really tuned yeah. for playing big carp. Don't be fooled by the fact it's a 10 footer. No. You can land really big fish on this rod and it's, it's an absolute joy to fish with. And I think, you know, summing up on the compact range, I think for small to medium sized waters, you don't need great big long rods. And if you give these rods a try, you'll discover a new joy in fishing. They're fantastic to fish with. They're little pocket battleships. Yeah, superb. Now you mentioned if you were float fishing at longer range or, or looking to strike bites maybe on the drop at long, at long chucks, you needed a longer float rod. And yeah. I take it that's where something like this would come in. Yeah, I mean, this is a more traditional float rod. We call this one the classic. It's a 13 foot float. And you can see it's got very classic looks. Yeah. If you look at the color of the blank, it's got a lovely slim blank. It's got a, a full cork handle, which yeah personally I like. This is a more traditional float rod. When you're waggler fishing, you want to be looking at 13 to 15 foot rods because you've got to pick the line up quickly. Yep. It's the same with long range stick float fishing. Yep. Everything between the rod tip and the float mm. is acting against you hitting the bite. So the longer the rod, the faster you're going to hit the bite. Mm. You need a fast, crisp rod. And this is the sort of thing that, whereas it will cope with the odd marauding big tench or carp, mm. it's perfectly at home for all round float fishing where you've got to fish further out and hit the bites. And I think it's a beautifully balanced rod. It's a nice classy looking rod as well. And for the traditionalists among us and people who are looking for, for an all round rod that will do just about everything, then mm -hmm. quite frankly, I'd look no further than the classic float. I think it's a belting rod. I do.